okay i guess now i am visible to you yes yes now you are visible perfectly okay good afternoon good afternoon how are you doing actually yeah i'm doing good how are you doing yes i'm doing well are you working so, today are you busy uh not i was not busy uh, today is my off but uh, i was in down stair for my food uh oh. actually right now i'm living in pg in hyderabad so i just finished my uh, lunch and then i opened my laptop but i think there uh, my laptop has some issues so i am taking it now my mobile so fortunately i have skype on my mobile so easily <laughs> i can get it okay okay tell me more <clears throat> about you yeah my name is sandeep and uh, my native place is uh, uttarakhand so basically i am born and bought uh, in uttarakhand and uh, i have done my all schooling in my uttarakhand so after that uh, i moved uh, for my uh, college education uh, in uh, delhi so i did my uh, graduation in delhi and then after that uh, i had been working in delhi since uh, 2010 and uh, we just got opportunity uh, to work in hyderabad uh, so i came here uh, uh, last year in uh, november and uh, so now is uh, you know in delhi and our native place we usually uh, use in hindi and now we are facing an issue in hyderabad so yeah most people are speaking in hindi but yeah in office culture we have to speak in english so that's why i am exploring myself and uh, yeah i watch uh, your lot of video i like it and it uh, means we learn lot of things from your video that's why i reach out to you and uh, i am very excited to have your section today so yeah that's it mm-hmm. yes and uh, <laughs> i think the weather of hyderabad is very bad right now it's around 45 yeah, yeah. yeah it's uh, right now 40 Uh, 45 mm how are you managing i think it is contrast to delhi weather delhi is not this hot uh delhi is uh, not hot uh, as compare if i compare the last year i was in delhi so it was not here which i feel here it's like i am feeling hot as compare of delhi in here Mm, as compared to Delhi and also Uttarakhand, it's it's a very oh, cold. Oh, so yeah, 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 yeah. It's cold. <laughs> yeah, it's I always missing my native place. Everything is there. So when I was in uh, means my native place, so there we not require in like a fan and freeze and so all the things. Uh, I have to means I had to see in after when I came to Delhi. So after that I see it's uh, means it's. free uh, is uh, like uh, uh, ac like that things otherwise <laughs> not, we don't <laughs> we didn't use in these kind of things in uh, uttarakhand so basically mm-hmm. i belong to uh, hill station is uh, yes <clears throat> so that's mm-hmm. why in always we uh, take the blanket most lot of yes. time in the night so yes. all 12 month but when i uh, reached uh, delhi then i feel <laughs> uh, that's the people are saying Delhi is very hot place, and in the summer also. Hmm. I think Hyderabad is even bad now because my city yeah, yeah, is very yeah. close to Hyderabad, and we are also having the same kind of temperature around forty-five, forty-six. Yes, correct. This correct, year correct. is very bad compared to the previous years. It is okay. very bad. I think it is your bad luck this time. No, uh, <laughs> maybe, maybe. So always, we always thinking it's better to go office. So there will be we can. It's twenty-four hour. We can have the AC, but in here we cannot continue <laughs> keeping AC on. So mm. that's why. Mm. Also, okay. So do you also believe that first impression is the best impression? Mm, yeah, I believe in the first impression is. Uh, the means the best impression or the good impression and uh, after that we can observe the person uh, accordingly his first impression and yeah mm. i believe in the first impression is okay do you want to add any experiences to it like you saw a person for the first time and you judged him to be somehow but after being friends or after getting to know him your thoughts about him changed him or her 
Mm, yeah, obviously, uh, when I came to here, I got a, uh, my friend. Uh, I got uh, one person in my office. Uh, that time, I am. Uh, uh, I was searching the best PGA like that. So I got the person there, and he was uh, like uh, the same uh, office. So he know me, but I don't. Uh, that time, I didn't he know him. So he mm -hmm. uh, say, "Hey, Sandeep, I saw you in office." Then I say, "Okay." So after they become uh, my friend, but I think uh, uh, that time I uh, thought he he is very means uh, friendly. But after we when we uh, go office together, when we live at the same PG, then I found he he is very like that introvert. So they talk very less. They talk about. Himself very less. I've, I'm, I'm only forcefully asking him about what, what do you do? What, uh, who is your with your family like that? So, but if I'm talking about me, uh, me so if uh, anybody become my friend, then I easily uh, talking mm. to and easily uh, means I can share my all the things use my family about my all the things means. So this is the. Observation for me, my side from the any others. Mm, yes. So obviously, in starting when you reach the any new place, <clears throat> uh, there you got the lot of people's. But uh, in, uh, eventually, you will get according to your uh, nature, according to your uh, means, uh, comfortable friends. Then you fix the uh, he is my friend or he is not my friend. Then you can easily mm -hmm. <clears throat> find out the people according yes. to. You. Yes, and I think first impressions are usually for cases where it is your one shot, yep, like yep, interviews correctly. where you have to, you just have to put your best foot forward. You need to make the first impression there. In that case, yes, yes. it is. I I think I support it that way. But when it comes to like normal living, I don't think it is the best impression because you often judge people on their appearance like by looking at them, and you judge them to be a certain way. Later, yes, I correctly, think we correctly. shouldn't hurry up in judging people. They might be something else. They might be better or uh, worse. Accord, yes, I mean, correctly. depends on your expectation. Like you might be expecting them to be very good, but uh, yeah. So we have a lot of ex uh, experiences of this kind. And correctly. how much do you um, judge people on their appearances, or how much do you take care of your appearance, how you appear in public? Are you a very conscious person? Uh, not really. Uh, if some uh, one, if I feel someone is a good person, then I uh, means uh, mm, I can share my uh, anything and uh, everything. If he asks me for anything, not for asking, but uh, if someone asking me like uh, I need this thing, so I can share easily. So. Mm. <clears throat> But uh, if we gradually you think uh, after that you judge and uh, everything about now if uh, in uh, is it called uh, your uh, office colleague and your uh, uh, roommate so after that you can uh, according that you are change your behavior to himself. You change your behavior towards him or her. To him. And yes, yes, yes. Mm, mm, yeah, and do you take <clears throat> care of how you appear, like your dressing or how you take care of yourself? Yes, obviously, I take care of myself uh, as simple as I show to others. Mm. So that's it. Mm. You like being simple. You appear yeah, being I like being simple. Yeah, be very simple. Mm, mm, mm. And today's world, I don't think they they will agree with this, right? Because the first focus, they need good appearance. They need stylish looks. Be stylish, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. These days. Yeah, obviously, if you look at someone uh, in means your office or here is the some stylist, then maybe you will something observe. If you already is stylist, then you will uh, obviously go to them and ask and be a friend. But if you uh, like be a simple, then you will find some simple uh, person <laughs> or make a friend like you. So that's why. Mm, yes. Did you have any questions to ask me before the conversation? Mm, uh, not really in question, but just uh, 
yeah actually uh, same every uh, learner have the same issue and we have also i don't want to uh, means ask but yeah definitely i will ask i am also in hindi medium <coughs> like uttarakhand so so <laughs> so how can i improve uh, and i have been a uh, lot of practicing even in front of mirror and uh, we are um, exploring lot of uh, uh video on uh, youtube a lot of youtubers uh, in there so i don't think ki um, for the learning i have to run uh, the youtube channel so i uh, because when i came to uh, delhi so that time i am faced the same issue in my hindi yeah i write hindi i read hindi but my fluency of hindi was not good so firstly i struggled one and two months but yeah we uh, easily get it so <clears throat> but uh, when i came in hyderabad so most of the time i have to speak in english and the time i'm little bit hesitations uh, and mm. <clears throat> that's hesitation and always thinking ki if i am if, if i do mistake then what other people think about me so and uh, i have a lot of uh, work on this but uh, i'm not uh, means uh, uh, overcome of uh, the this fear so this thing i a lot of uh, learn from <clears throat> you and others uh, youtuber and uh, but uh, not how to i apply this thing on on over me mm see so you you have been speaking your language ever since your childhood right so yes, i have yes, been I... speaking english i have been speaking english my vocal cords are used it is Correct. almost become like a native language for me english i even think in english all the time so this is the first language that comes to me when i speak i also know other languages i know hindi very well i'm quite fluent yeah, no. but i am hesitant to speak in hindi because just because i'm not used to so much as compared to english it might be that you know english okay okay level at least but you're hesitant to speak just because you're not used to speaking in it so if you start speaking english throughout the day no matter you're making mistakes or you just don't care you want to improve you are surrounding yourself with english and almost considering it as your native language you know the first language that comes to you when you start speaking if you expose yourself so much to english it will slowly get incorporated within yourself and unknowingly you will start improving because you have so much of inputs you're watching you're listening also i would say please inculcate even reading habit because it okay. is very beneficial and it will give you a lot of input some new vocabulary they have you know or any book you take they have the perfect grammar they have perfect sentence structures they have good words and some easy to understand stuff if you take for beginner levels story books kind of stuff when you read them you get so much input and you keep thinking about the book you keep thinking about the sentences used the language used in the book so that is one uh, nice way to surround yourself with english so reading and listening <coughs> is very important to get input and to improve your english along with that you need to speak a lot because now you only recently you have got the environment of english in your office yes, and you told yes, me sir. in delhi you weren't speaking english much so in 6 months you i'm sure you must have noticed <coughs> quite a few changes in your english language Yes, so correct. continue this practice and do it deliberately even though you don't have the opportunities to speak in english try to speak in english doesn't matter if people like it don't like it try to speak in english as much as possible only then it will improve and like this you can have more video sessions you can connect with people and keep practicing your english so that yeah. is how you can yeah 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 so same thing uh, before uh, the session uh, before the two month i am uh, thinking about the session so that's why i uh, search ki how can i reach out to you then i got your mail and then i think uh, we should mail you and let's see if you have a time and this is the way we can connect then i tried and uh, then i uh, got to <clears throat> response from your side and then i yeah we can start from here and uh, yeah uh, means uh, the uh, learning uh, anything for challenging me but uh, i don't know what about the english uh, if i am talking about drive the car uh, easily for me and i easily get it 
but for english sometimes i feel yeah i can speak in english uh, very easily when i uh, front of the two people they are conversation in english in my office so i am uh, very carefully listening and then yeah it's very easy how they speak how they word the how the sentence structure how the grammar how they <clears throat> means uh, the conversation but when come to me it me then i am totally means blank and uh, uh, that time i feel and then after conversation uh, finish then i thought ki we have to use this word we have to this sentence we can use uh, this kind of word so these uh, issues i am tackling and uh, these things i am lagging we we learn from every conversation that we have even when i talk to people after finishing the conversation i feel that i could have added more or i could have spoken in a certain way so that is how we learn if we miss out on something in a conversation we will learn after the session that okay correct, we correct, can correct. also speak that and you can apply it in your next conversation also some people all of us have our own struggles so when i see men or when i see people women anybody <laughs> when i see anybody riding on a bike so i feel wow this is so nice i should do it as well i do have a license correct, correct, but correct, correct. i am not that um efficient as a driver okay i don't ride very well so i am a scared kind of person so i have my limitations in that area if i want to i will be able to do it so you can apply the same knowledge here you drive a car you uh, you are you like it you have been doing it ever since so you find it it is okay but try to give the same amount of time and practice for english so this is not that difficult trust me yeah yes then we compare it uh, when we start every learning everything then like uh, for example we are starting the uh, learning the uh, drive the car so initially we very conscious what time we have to do but after when mm. i usually it then we thinking like we are uh, singing a song but automatically yeah. everything is uh, when we uh, press the brake when we press change the speed down the mm. speed so it's uh happen automatically so yeah. these uh, kind of thing i am uh, uh, like uh, i want to uh, this kind of thing in my english it automatically come my mind and automatically mm -hmm. on my mouth so yes. what kind of practice we have to like that for uh, and how much time it will be take so it's my just a question for you it will take a minimum of 6 months if mm -hmm. you put like you know it can be done even in 3 months because you already know quite a lot you know quite a lot of english you have grammar issues so it it might take at least 3 months for you provided you practice every day at least for half an hour to one hour you need to dedicate your time for english and within 3 months definitely you will see a lot of improvement it's just that maybe you it is there in the back of your head that i need to learn english but you are not like 100% dedicated or 100% seriously putting effort so once you start doing that and keep a focus keep a goal for yourself that at the end of 3 th months or 4 months this is where i want to reach so definitely you will be there okay mm, that will take at least 3 to 6 months so be a good person it is important ki we have to advance vocabulary or we can you know, talk to means just we have a simple vocabulary in active vocabulary uh, active vocabulary we can use like that so i think uh, you can no, use is... simple vocabulary i yeah. always advocate that you use simple vocabulary yes you there is no limit to learning but first you become fluent, fluent. you uh, <laughs> speak accurately all the grammar vocabulary part is limitless you can keep learning it throughout your life so focus first on simple words proper grammar and fluency once you achieve that keep learning words new words fancy words if you want to okay and one more question what about the listening if i listening the simple indian uh, accent so we can easily get it but when we have sometimes we in office we have uh, we have a meeting with my colleagues in uk and they mm -hmm. also their accent is different different some uk is good speaker some is uh, some is already uh, speaking good but some is uh, accent is different uh, they say ki uh, hey sorry uh, my uh, my english is not my native uh, Uh, i am not a native speaker uh, my it is my second language so so how can i easily get it and how can i understand e easily it what kind of practice we need for it <coughs> yeah so uk accent is quite difficult to understand uk accent is quite difficult american accent is 
still you can understand it but uk accent because they speak very fast and they do not speak the word clearly they just really, want correct. some part of it so it is difficult to understand them if that is your target client then you need to listen to more uk stuff there you can watch the web series or okay. um, movies or speeches of people from uk london so you can hear listen to those kind of speeches and you can watch th that type of content with subtitles so that you will be able to understand what they are saying so that way you can practice and learn to understand them because accents are difficult okay yeah that mm -hmm. time we use uh, we, we usually on meeting in teams and that time we open the cap caps on uh, in uh, english so uh, yeah, some word i catch from there mm -hmm. then we re replied <coughs> accordingly yes yes mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, Anything else? Uh, not really right now, but uh, yeah. Okay. Just one small tip: look into the camera when you speak. <laughs> yeah, sure, sure. Like, you know, ninety percent of the time you were looking elsewhere. So yeah, actually, yeah. it's my first time to means okay. like that session, so that's why mm. maybe. Okay. In the future, please indulge yourself in more conversations, online, offline, whatever. and keep yourself constantly in touch with english and i wish you all the very best yeah thank you uh, thank you so much okay, okay. bye 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 bye, -bye.